children do you remember the number patterns learnt in lesson 2 come in this new lesson let's learn more about number patterns by using addition and subtraction today raju and bablu are walking in the park happily once again hey how has it suddenly become dark what is this it looks like jeev spaceship oh what is this this time jeev has pulled both raju and bablu into his spaceship ha 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 last time you escaped from my captivity today i will not let you go there is just one way to get out of this spaceship this spaceship has three doors each door has a code on it if you can correctly solve the codes on all the three doors only then you will be able to go back <laughs> jeev said this and disappeared raju and bablu saw a door in front of them on which the code was written raju told bablu that he had solved jeev's codes before but these numbers were very large bablu told raju that they should look at the numbers in order so what should bablu and raju do now to find the difference between the first two numbers they should subtract 200 from 250 What remains when 200 is subtracted from 250? 50. Then they found the difference between 300 and 250. And again they got 50. Raju started dancing happily. I got the pattern, I got the pattern. Children Have you also got the pattern of these numbers? Yes, you got it absolutely right. To get the next number, you have to add 50 to every number. Similarly, to get the number after 300, we will have to add 50 to 300. So the next number is 350. Now to get the next number after 350 we will have to again add 50 to 350 and we get 400 before we see if raju's and our answer is correct or not can you find the answer to another similar pattern here the first number is missing so now how do we do this We will begin from the second number. Can you identify this pattern? Yes, children, you have identified this pattern correctly. Here, to get the next number, we will have to add 25 to previous number. Similarly, to get the first number, 25 has to be subtracted from the second number. Once you understand the pattern then you can easily write the next number to complete the pattern like this we can complete this pattern come let's see if raju's and our answer was correct raju entered the calculated numbers in the wall and what is this the door opened raju and our answer was absolutely right Now Raju and Bablu are facing the second wall. What will be Jeev's next code? We will see that in the next video. Do you think that number pattern can be made only by adding numbers? Will the next code of Jeev be made only by adding numbers? Children, in this lesson we learn to solve number patterns by using addition we will see some other number patterns in the next video
children in the last lesson we learn to solve number patterns by using addition in this video we will see some more interesting number patterns come on let's see what is jeeves next code jeeves next code looks something like this bablu became upset seeing this code he told raju that he subtracted the first number from the second number to identify the pattern on the first door however he is unable to do the same here raju suddenly remembered words said by his uncle and he told bablu that it is not necessary that every number pattern is made by adding some numbers to the first number some number patterns can also be made using subtraction so what will raju do now raju first subtracted 484 from 496 now how much did he get he got 12 now he subtracted 472 from 484 then how much is left again he got 12 bablu i got the pattern in this code every number is 12 less than its previous number raju said to bablu now what do you think raju must do to get the next number in the pattern to get the next number of the code 12 must be subtracted from 472 So how much is left? This way we got 460. Now what should we do to get the next number? We will have to subtract 12 from 460. And the last number of our code would be 448. Raju fed the discovered numbers into the second door of Jeev. Oh wow! The door opened. Now Raju and Bablu were standing before the last wall. They saw their last code on the wall. What is that code? We will see in the next video. But why don't you find the answer to this code? Children Today we have learned to solve number patterns by using subtraction. Children, in the previous lesson, we learned to solve the number pattern by using subtraction. We will see some more number patterns in this video. Let's see what Jeeves last code is. The last code of Jeeves looks something like this. Raju saw the first two numbers of the code and he felt that in this pattern of the code one is added to get the next number. But Bablu looked at the second and third number of the pattern and he felt that we can get the next number by subtracting 4 from previous number what do you think whose answer is correct raju's or bablu's come let's find the answer to this code with raju and bablu actually both raju's and bablu's answer is correct in this code addition and subtraction both will be used What do we have to do to go from 715 to 716? We will have to add 1. And what do we have to do to go from 716 to 712? We will have to subtract 4. Absolutely correct. Now let's look at the numbers after this. What do we have to do to get 713 from 712? We need to add 1. And what do we have to do to go from 713 to 709? We will have to subtract 
Likewise, to get the pattern of this code, we will have to first add 1 and then to get the next number, we will have to subtract 4. And this has to be repeated. So, to get the next number, what should Raju do? To get the next number of the code, we have to add 1 to 709. How much is it? 710. Now, what should we do? To get the next number, we will have to subtract 4 from 710. And the last number of our code becomes 706. Raju fed the answer given by us into the door. And look, the last door has also opened. Jeev appreciated Raju and Bablu for their intelligence and gave a pair of glasses to each as a gift. We will see the specialty of the glass given by Jeev in the next lesson. Raju and Bablu are thanking you. Well done children, you have helped them a lot. Raju and Bablu have learned to identify number patterns. Have you learned it too? Solve these number patterns with your friends. In the next lesson, we will learn some more interesting facts about mathematics with Raju and Bablu. Children, today we have seen some more interesting examples of number patterns.